Hey guys, my name is Tito. I make videos on personal finance on my other channel. On this channel, I talk about other things like today when I'll be reacting to episode 7 of season 7 of the best web series on YouTube, Skinny Girl in Transit. Now, for those of you who've been watching these reaction videos, you'll notice something's a bit different. I'm not wearing my Skinny Girl in Transit hoodie. That's because there's no power. I'm filming this using the Gen and there are other things that are charging right now. So I don't want to take the risk of putting on the AC. If you live in Nigeria, you understand what's going on right now. So apologies in advance for my shiny face and maybe some sweat and me not wearing my hoodie. Let's dive into the episode. So uh, episode seven begins, I think, with Editi and uh, Didi. And they're talking and Editi, no, sorry, Didi tells Editi about Ene, I believe his daughter's name is, and the boy that, they're ex that she's exchanging love letters with. And as you'd imagine, Editi kind of hits the roof he doesn't handle it too well and subsequently he lets the cat out of the bag to Ene and now Ene is mad at Didi. Huh. To be honest, I was surprised by Editi's reaction in this episode. He didn't handle it calmly. He really just went off the rails. He should have known that there were issues, there were underlining issues. Like if Ene found out that Didi had told him it would cause a problem between Ene and Didi. And it will also cause a problem between himself and Didi, as we saw at the end of the episode. Editi kind of, he exhibited some red flags. He just, his emotional intelligence seemed a bit low. And I think this is something new that we're discovering about the guy. Question of the day. How do you think Didi should have handled the situation? You know, what should she have done? Do you think she was right to have told Editi about Enes exchange of love letters with a boy in school? Or do you think she should have just kept it between herself and Ene and, and kept Editi out of the picture? What do you think Ed, um, Didi would have done or should have done? Or what would you have done if you're in Didi's shoes? Moving on to Wosilat and school. I don't think that by the end of this season, Wosilat is still going to be in Unilag. No, I don't think so. School doesn't seem to, or, or academia doesn't seem to be Wosi's thing. Because why she's missing classes and just not following in school or keeping up in school is beyond me. No one is holding her back, you know. So what's up? What's going on with her? I think by the end of the season, maybe they'll enroll her in like a catering school or she'll find like some kind of handwork to do. Maybe that's what's in the future for Wussi because it seems like school isn't working. Moving on to AY and Mr. Charles's daughter. That was, that was hilarious. <laughs> The way that babe puts AY in his place when he says, you know, let's break our parents up. Even I didn't see that coming. I thought the girl would be like, okay, yes, let's, let's try and separate them. But, you know, she was like, you are being very childish. Do you think this is parent trap? He pained me for AY. <laughs> I understand where AY is coming from. It's not right. It's funny how, and I think this is a common thing, when a girl you know, whose father is separated from the mom or the mom is late, you know, and the father starts seeing someone new. The daughter tends to be very happy for her father, you know, and she just, she's on board. But with sons, if a guy's mom, right, starts dating again, chances are the guy will have a problem with it. Um, because initially, while I was watching, I was like, ah, what's AY's problem? He should, he should, he should come off it. But then I... <laughs> I, I put myself in his shoes <laughs> and imagined a man trying to get close to my mom. <laughs> I'd be a bit territorial. So yeah, I think I see where, where EY is coming from. And I, I just, I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because us men know how we are and how we treat women. So, and we don't want anyone to treat our moms or our sisters or our female relatives like that. So we're very possessive and territorial when men try and come into the lives of the women that are related to us. Moving on to, hmm, Shalewa and Dr. Elijah, or as I like to call them, Shalijah. So, you guys know what happened in the episode. They get, they get talking a little bit more. Elijah tries to send Shalewa to give Shalewa's mom a message. He ends up dropping her off at home, and they're outside gisting. She's sitting on the car, and they're eating suya. We don't see the suya, but apparently they ate suya. And all of a sudden, you know, he doesn't want to let her go. He's holding her waist and holding her hand and all that. And I was just, I was like, God, please don't let them kiss. Because these people just finished eating suya. And it's not, it's not the vibe to kiss someone. Especially for their first kiss, just after eating suya. 
Thankfully, it didn't happen. But it was looking like, for a, a moment there, it was looking like Elijah was going to go in for the kiss and it would have been so awkward knowing that, that they had just eaten suya. Second question of the day. Would you guys be... <laughs> you know where I'm going already. Would you guys kiss someone after both of you had just had suya? Especially, if, like, for the first kiss. Would you be down with that? Let's talk about dairy and Adewumi Suara. Finally, Derry says something on this episode or on this show that I can get behind. As when she says, when they're at the shooting range, right? And then Adewumi Suara says, you know, we want to see, I want to see how well you can take shots. And Derry says something along the lines of, I thought this was about how well you can take shots or something like that. That was such a slick line. I was like, come on, Derry with the Riz, you know? Derry has game. She's just afraid of being heartbroken again. She should come off it. What she, she doesn't want, she doesn't want a child as much as she wants a man. That's my opinion. I'm glad to see that things are moving along or moving ahead between herself and Adewumi Suara. Uh, he said that he's down to be her sperm donor. She was surprised by that. And, um, but he also said he wants to test her first. Adewumi Suara said that this is not a date. This is just us getting to know each other, which I guess is cool. And that work, that'll probably work for Daring because Daring tends to be on edge with men, given the history that she has with men. Before I close this episode or this video, I want to say that they did something that I really liked on this episode. Remember when Daring was about to, when she took the, you know, the weapon from Suara and she was about to, you know, get, start the shooting thing, but she was going to drop her bag on the floor. But Daring Suara, you know, says, let me have that. And he holds her bag. That one moment, that did a huge thing for that character, Adewumi Suara, played by Kunle Remy. It made him look like he's emotionally intelligent and that he's a thoughtful guy. And that's something that many Nollywood filmmakers do not consider. Those subtle nuances or subtle ways of making a male lead or a male character attractive, you know? And I talked about this in my review of Meeting Fumi's Parents about how Niger Nollywood writers don't write good male characters, right? And male characters tend to lack emotional intelligence and they're just off, right? But with what, with what they did on this episode, it showed that Deo Miso Ara is mature, he's not insecure, he's emotionally intellig intelligent, and it just really painted him in a very good light. With that very subtle act of him taking Deo's bag and holding it for her rather than her putting it on the floor. That was very impressive and I liked that. So kudos to Indani for that. That's, that's how you make a male character on your show or in your movie emotionally intelligent and endearing because I'm sure there are lots of women who noticed that and who appreciated that gesture from Adeomi Suara. Anyway, yeah, anyway guys, I, I've come to the end. I've made it to the end of this very hot episode. Thank God. Thank you guys so much for watching this reaction video. If you liked it, please like the video by clicking on the like button just underneath the video and subscribe to my channel as well by clicking on the black subscribe button. On this channel, I don't just do this kind of like reaction video. I also do Nollywood reviews. In fact, I mainly do Nollywood reviews. I also do some other things. To check out my uh, catalog of videos, you can click the card in the corner of the screen. In the card of the corner of the screen as well, you'll find the previous reaction videos to Skinny Girl in Transit season seven that I've been doing for the past few weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching and I guess I'll see you next week for the reaction video of Skinny Girl in Transit. Peace.